somehow rap needs a union. Rappers need a union, bro. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know who's going to be in control of it. But I'm going to explain to you why rappers need a union in layman's terms. It's sad because I can't even really break it down the, the way I want because it's too deep. It's too deep to break down. It's too deep to break it down. You need year, you need to be a trained lawyer, have years of knowledge of this fucking paperwork to even break it down. Now, if you're a signed artist and you have publishing, you have to understand that even if you have a publishing qualm, you understand? There is no union for you. You, you, you get what I'm saying? There's no union to help you fix the publishing. You got to go to the publishing house. You got to go to your publisher. You got to give you a dispute and either they hear you or they fix it or they don't. But there's nobody, you know, I, I deal with people who work in regular things. I deal with Lou Picante. He's the runner of the Teamsters, local Teamsters union for, you know, the sanitation workers and, and things of that nature. They have a union. They have someone representing them. You understand what I'm saying? So here's what I want to teach y'all. And here's where you have to be who you say you are. Um, For years, like, I'm not coming at Puff. I love Puff. I swear to God to you, I love Puff. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's my big bro. I learned a lot from the game. You know what I mean? But business is business at the end of the day. I don't know who to even speak to at Sony EMI. You know what I mean? So, I'm cool. You understand what I'm saying? I've made my living outside of music. I'm fortunate enough to have four stores, pharmacy for life, make a whole nother, you know, way of living out here. For all my YouTubers, thank you all so much for watching. If this is the first time watching any of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification uh, button as well. So that way you get alerted whenever I drop new content. And let me know in the comments what you think about this particular topic because this video we're about to break down is a super important topic and I want to know from you guys how you all feel about it. Um, and if this is, you know, the 10th time you're watching one of my videos and you haven't subscribed, if you subscribe and hit the notification button, it really helps my channel. If you guys can help me out, I can hire more resources uh, and, you know, spend more time on creating these videos, doing my own research, getting into other deals to get further and experience a lot of the stuff that I talk about. And, you know, we'll both win. So I appreciate you all watching and let's get into today's topic. What's going on guys, my name is Matei, another day for Music Biz Daily, and let's discuss what Style Speed just said in that uh, video clip that you saw, because everything that he mentioned was very important, and you guys should definitely check out the entire uh, video on his uh, IGTV on his page, uh, I think it's from like a week ago or so, but he touched on a lot of great points, and I'm glad that somebody such as Style Speed is addressing this issue. So let's kind of break down what he sort of talked about because he touched on many different points. He talks about how rappers should have a union that would protect their interests, that would, you know, uh, make it more fair uh, for when it comes to signing contracts and publishing deals, um, exploitation of artists through record deals and things like that. You know, he talks about uh, learning through his lawyers that, you know, if you find an error uh, in your publishing deal or the way things were submitted or registered or the way the paperwork was done and it's older than six years, the, by law, the labels don't owe you any money. They don't have to correct uh, mishandled paperwork or registrations past six years, right? Which for somebody like Style Speed, that's a major issue because he's been in the game for like 20, 25 years and probably bulk of his money from publishing and royalties were made in, you know, six more than six years ago in like the late 90s, early 2000s, mid 2000s and so on. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of important information that Style Speed's touching on. But let, let's talk about the unions because I 100% agree with that, that rappers should have their own union uh, as well as other you know musicians of different genres, but let me tell you this because there already are unions. For example, union musicians. Uh, you can Google this. Every state, like Baltimore, has their own .org website for union musicians. Generally, those musicians are you know people that graduated from music schools or not necessarily even graduated, but that are like violinists or that play the cello or the trumpet or uh, that you know you would use in a uh, session. For example. You know, when Kanye West makes some of his tracks, he may want to get an ensemble of violinists to play the stuff live. I know Deadmau5, the EDM 
you know, producers. They use session musicians a lot in their production. And there are unions to sort of standardize how much these union musicians should get paid, uh, how to, you know, get a hold of uh, these sort of musicians or resources and all of that. And those unions do exist. Um, let me also talk about other industries, right? Because as you guys know, I talk about this all the time as an entrepreneur. I've been involved in energy efficiency, in real estate, in software development. And those industries do have associations or unions that do sort of set standards for the industry, that do give small businesses or companies access to the congressmen and women uh, for certain laws and lobbying and things of that nature. But look, we live in a capitalistic country. So at the end of the day, the industry, the particular industry sector has to organize together and create these associations. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this stuff is not provided by the government. Now, if you want it to be provided by the government, then I guess people have to vote it in. But you have to realize that being in America, you know, as capitalistic of a nation as we are, the, price, the, the taxes will go up for something like that. So to expect the government to get involved and set standards, especially for a wild, wild west of an industry like the music industry, that would be a huge undertaking. And you can imagine how much lobbying that would take from the small guys, not from the labels. The labels don't want you to be empowered with this information. There's a clear reason for that. Or let's, let me not make a blanket statement. Most labels don't want artists to be empowered on that level because at the end of the day, uh, labels made more money while the artists are not sort of super educated about how the business works. You know, it's been confirmed by a lot of people in the industry. But the point I'm trying to make is that you have to take it upon yourself in that particular industry, organize people. And I'm hoping that Styles P and other rappers that are sort of, you know, discovering these things or have been learning about these things for many years, like Styles P said, are going to get involved and potentially create associations like this. And, you know, uh, reach out to some of the bigger people that already made it in the hip hop genre specifically to help them get some of that stuff done. Let me give you another example because again, it comes back to how our society structured in America at least when it comes to capitalism and you know unions and standards and more regulation. I don't want to get into too much of you know politics, but since I am foreign, I come from Eastern Europe, I'm very familiar with more of a social government and more regulation, but a good buddy of mine, uh, Simon, who was an exchange student in high school when I was here in the States, he's from Sweden and he actually is an artist that makes a living from being an artist. I think he's a musician as well as a contemporary painter, just an overall artist, and there are government programs in Sweden that basically pay his salary for him to make a good wage to feed his family and to do what he loves. Now, Sweden, as if you guys don't know, they pay anywhere from like 50 to 60 percent taxes over there and their society is structured and everybody sort of buys into that model to where they do value arts and they do value music and theater and things like that and the you know people are willing to pay taxes for them and the government regulates it and they actually pay the salaries of some of these artists and musicians because otherwise unless they all understand how to run the business and can market themselves they would not be sort of in business especially people that you know do uh, theater or like contemporary painting for you know certain things like it, here in the states it's all a business you got to figure out how to create a brand before your paintings are valuable many people can paint but you know when do you become a Basquiat or like a, a Van Gogh or you know one of these major people that has value to it so there's a lot of things to the, like kind of break down here but I do agree with style speed there's got to be you know there should be a union for rappers but again being in America in the capitalistic you know structure that we're in you got to take it upon yourself but it's not just now 25 years after you figured out that a lot of contracts you've been a part of or paperwork that's been put together on your behalf has been not in your favor you got to start in the beginning right and that that's my point that's my whole point of like my channel is to empower you guys with education because in the beginning when you start making it you got to make a personal choice in my opinion and look at your you know, entire existence to say, like, I got 24 hours in a day. What do I do with my 24 hours? Because if you start making the music, you have a choice on the weekends. You go out and party, chill with the girls or guys if you're a female artist. You know, do you uh, enjoy all the great entertaining type stuff in life? Or do you want to educate yourself? Are you going to be, you know, spending your Friday nights or Saturday evenings talking to your lawyers and understanding how the music law works? Are you going to empower yourself with uh, education on how to run a business? how to run payroll, how to hire people, you know what I'm saying, what, what's HR about, how, what's publishing about, what's copyrights about, it's all a personal choice. So that's the beauty and the curse 
about the capitalistic system is that you either get screwed in the back end because you don't care about the business side of things, you only care about the art, or in the beginning, if you start caring about the both, you'd be a lot better situation than you'd be in maybe where you know Diddy is at or Dr. Dre is at when it comes to hip hop or you know uh, Pitbull, very good businessman, Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? Like, trust me, on their spare time, they probably are very interested in learning about the business and that's why they're having a lot of businesses outside of the music industry. They use the music industry or their music as art just as a gateway into more business. So, I, you know, I could talk about this topic for an hour if you guys wanted me to, but you know, the uh, bottom line is that I do agree with Style Speed. There should be a union. There's a possibility for a union or association for rappers or even other industry, other genres, EDM DJs or country music artists or pop artists, whatever. But I would agree that hip hop being the biggest genre uh, in the States as it is, definitely need something like that. And take an example from the other industries. How do other industries do it? Like I said, I was in real estate, energy efficiency, software development. They all have associations or unions. But remember that if you want the government to get involved, that's uh, unlikely to happen unless the taxes go up or things like that. So just empower yourself with education. I'm glad that Style Speed's finally doing it. And I'm glad that he was able to, you know, be entrepreneurial and also have his like side uh, businesses going on with the, with the juices and the healthy eating and all that. So let me, let me, you know, I want you guys to tell me what you all think, because this is an important topic. Put in the comments, share this video, whoever needs to see it. Check out the entire video of Styles P on his page. And, you know, let, let's have a further discussion. Um, if you know, if you guys need to know what me and my team do, click the link in the bio or below, depending on where you're watching this. We'll leave you with that as always. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day uh, of Music Biz Daily. Peace.